We're going to see how bad Chevron's fuel is for your vehicle. That blew our number out. That's surprising. What'd she hit this time? Three, four. Welcome back to the dyno, everyone. We're here at Racing Green in Poco, and we're going to see why you're using the wrong fuel. Because you actually are using the wrong fuel for your Ford Explorer ST. We've run it on 94, we've run it on 87, we're running it on Shell 93 now, and we're gonna add ethanol just to make out the rounded out numbers. But I want you to know that yes, you indeed are running the wrong fuel in your Ford Explorer. This is why. Thirty-five on regular. Yeah. That blew well, our number out. I guess it's two non-regular. It's two non-regular. Holy cow! But then again, it'd be cool to compare. Yeah, that's surprising. Positive. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it. I'm done. I'm canceling out. This is this video is lie. Hold on a minute. I can imagine you feel cheated, but this is only the first run. At this very moment in the video, we think that this vehicle is tuned for 87. As a matter of fact, before I even started this dyno run, one of the main guys here thought I was gonna blow up the Explorer, running it on 87 and doing what we just did. Like, they're like, there's no way this thing is tuned for 87. Well, this isn't even, this isn't even the number. Think about the last video here for a second. We hit 340 horsepower. And for the purpose of this video, I do recognize torque numbers and I do say, wow, the torque is this, the torque that. But I actually want us to focus on the horsepower because right now we're at 335 on regular, which is pretty good. This is Canco 87 regular. But none of us were expecting what came next. Back to the video. What'd she hit this time? 342? <laughs> you hear that, people? You're using the wrong fuel in your explorer. This is the. Uh... This is the torque number from the last dyno day. So this is the uh, on 87. And this is our new horsepower number. So it, it crested slightly and got a little bit higher than on the 94 octane, which is interesting. So now we're going to switch to 93 shell and try it again. So what we're doing now is we're just swapping out the old fuel for different fuel to see if it makes a difference. But as you can see, this is where we teed in to... Uh, Get the fuel drained out and then we'll go ahead put the 93 in and then run it again. So now we can fill this with 93. We're going to get this in and we're going to redyno the machine. We're going to see how bad Chevron's fuel is for your vehicle. Okay, so we just added the E85. So we've done the run with 93. Gained some power over Chevron. And then um, we're just gonna top up the last little bit of the E85 and then we'll run it again and see where our numbers are at. Scanning on torque, and that's expected with the E85, right? Yeah. Give you more torque. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. So it's literally gone up like five foot pounds of torque. 
Or uh, 37. Yep. So that's the best uh, 87 octane versus the last E85. Which is a pretty big difference. Yeah. And then what's the... Uh, are you going to do another test? Yeah, we'll see okay. if the E85 keeps improving. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a considerable amount. That's, like at least 10 horsepower. Right? Oh yeah. Front of E85, or is that? Uh, that is. That's probably the two best ones. Yep. And then uh, versus the uh, 93. That's still pretty good. Yeah, it's like eight. Yeah. Let's see if versus 94. We already know it's considerably higher than 87, but how much higher than 94? Well, the horsepower number is considerably taller. 7 I think that's your best pull from the last dyno session. Yep. So the torque down here is higher, yep. which is good. Wow, guys, I mean, wow. 87 was two horsepower more than 94. Kenko 87 was two horsepower more than 94. So when I showed you in that video earlier, right here, I showed you the torque curve with 94. When I told you guys a number at the end of the video, of the last video, the torque curve for 94 was only ever hit once at 411, only once. These are the numbers. 94 octane Chevron consistently torque numbers and horsepower was 400 foot pounds of torque and 340 horsepower. Best E87 and continuous average run the torque number did come down versus the 94 so you'll have to give the torque number to 94 87 octane was 396 foot pounds of torque and was 342 horsepower so it lost four foot pounds of torque and it gained two horsepower over 94. the number none of us were expecting was how much it changed on 93. Shell 93 hit run after run after run, 404 foot-pounds of torque, and it hit 353 horsepower. It's 13 horsepower more than Chevron's 94. 13 horsepower. It was only 11, more than 87 from Kango. Think about those numbers. Then we add the 10% E85, and this is the final number that we came to with our 2020 Ford Explorer stock tune, no modifications. 408 foot-pounds of torque and 359 horsepower. So 93 shell octane with 10% ethanol of E85 was almost 20 horsepower more than 94 
octane. The numbers are not showing in favor of 94 Chevron. If I was putting fuel in my vehicle, I would not be choosing Chevron 94. From the dyno numbers that we saw, the price point of how expensive premium fuel is, and on top of it, how expensive 94 is, it is not worth the price. From these tests, four fuels, 87, 93, 94, and a 10% mix of ethanol E85 that we know is a 10% ethanol mix of E85, added to 93, 20 horsepower different. If you work for Chevron, it's time to step up your game because Shell is whooping you. So why did I do this video? When we ran the Explorer on the last dyno, I had some hesitations because I wasn't sure if those blips were knocking. As a suggestion, it was made to me that 94 octane wasn't actually that good for our vehicles. And I was like, is it? Is it really? So it prompted me, let's try it out. Let's see if Chevron 94 is as good as everyone thinks it is. Coming up as we do some more modifications to the Explorer. And I would love to show you 92 octane versus Chevron 90, 94 versus Shell 93. I hope to see you guys again in another episode of Southdown Garage. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If this video opened your mind, share it. Put it on Facebook, put it on any site you know. If this video helped you, please, I ask you, share the video because this was one of the most fun I've ever had making a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I ma enjoyed making it. Don't forget to take a look at this video over here where we put the intercooler into the Explorer and take a look at this video over here where we go back to the dyno and see if it makes a difference. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.